Hi, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm talking about the QPV Griff, the GUI interface inside Linux Pipewire for managing and routing audio, video, and MIDI signals, and why, etc. This could be an extreme game changer for, let's just say, home production, bedroom music producers to lower to medium music production systems. Let's go. In a previous video in this playlist, I've talked about, you know, installing different kind of flat packs because what are flat packs, universally accessible packages on our Linux systems? This is unimportant right now. Now I'm talking about the Pipewire, Pipewire driver inside Linux, or more specific, the audio part of the Pipewire driver. And for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to call it the Pipewire audio driver even though Pipewire is way more than that. I assume that most of you would have some you know, music production experience working on Windows, Windows operating system, in regards of working with ASIO for all, the order driver. And how Linux handles latency issues is a completely different topic, even though I could talk about you know different kind of kernels you can utilize inside Linux, what they are, but I'm not going to delve into this I could talk about the real-time privileges, I've covered this topic already, but in this video I'm also not going into this now. What I want to say is that the control you have over your operating system is tremendous. And the ways of which you can modify your own system to transform it into another Linux distro, more or less, is, you know, quite mind-blowing for some. But again, back to QPV Graph or Helvum, it doesn't really matter because it's more the functionality Pipewire itself provides. It's just you know the GUI interfaces, Helvum and QPV Graph, which makes the process just easier. Because maybe you yeah, do some basic music production and want to make YouTube tutorials about it and then record them inside OBS for example and setting this up definitely on Windows was interesting to say the least or even working or even working with multiple audio interfaces maybe you have just one for you know a Scarlet for example for guitar and bass and utilize another one a zoom microphone whatever for vocals for example and want to utilize multiple different audio interfaces simultaneously which on Windows was quite problematic to set up, if it was possible at all. And even if it worked, it was a buggy mess. I have no experience with Apple, but I've heard that on Apple you could create a digital audio interface under exclamation mark and combine these two analog audio interfaces into one emulated one. But this is not what I'm gonna cover. On Linux, with the QPV graph or Helvum, you can just route or one audio interface into one audio channel of your Reaper door, for example. It does not even need to do anything with Reaper door or Ardor. It could just be you know, working with one microphone in which you are speaking and another microphone, for example, of some screen recording etc which is quite ordinary setup but maybe you just want to set up for example you want to hear everything through the headphones simultaneously route everything through you know obs for example and in addition to that maybe through skype for example if you want to chat with somebody if you make a stream for example a live stream of multiple people all of which interacting with multiple audio interfaces. I know it's a wild example here. I'm just talking about the potentiality Pipewire provides to you, not the, not the realism of the actual use cases I've just given to you. For example, let us take a fictional scenario. You are 
a sound engineer and you have a band, etc. And you want to have an easy control, for example, about routing different audio signals. Okay, what am I trying to say? Let's just focus on the output signals because the input signals are for, for a time of simplicity. In order to keep things simple, I'm just gonna make an example of the output signals. You have one stereo signal, so two mono signals, for example, coming to your speakers for you know monitoring and later on mastering, so that you hear, hear everything. Yeah, Captain Obvious. Then, for example, you have, in addition to that, another monitor in, for example, the drummer's boot room or, you know, on his headphones, for example, and on which you provide a different mix. Then, for example, to the guitar players, for example, also a different mix. Because the guitar player, for example, what he hears on the monitor speakers might be that the vocals might be not as loud as the, the master speakers would be, but, for example, the drama is more pronounced, so that the, the guitar player has a more control over the rhythm and stuff like that. So, which is easy to set up in QPV Graph. Windows, in ASIO for All, this was a nightmare to set up. And especially for problem checking, for example, if one band member doesn't have any sound whatsoever, you do not click through an entire list, you have a GUI representation of all the digital audio notes easily presented to you. Another example would be for, you have, you know, a Reaper audio session and you have an electric guitar plugged into your audio interface and you want to record it. Or bass, vocals, it doesn't really matter. Then you want to give it some audio distortion and want to utilize guitar rigs for example, about which I'm, in the future I will make a video. The thing is, if you want to utilize the flat pack version of guitar rigs, so you do not want to set a guitar rigs up inside your door itself, but outside the door, what you could do is, for example, via the GUI, you disconnect the connection of your guitar and reaper door, connect your audio interface, the guitar signal, directly into guitar rigs, and from the guitar rigs output, it back into reaper. So from the get-go, you have the distortion, delay effects, whichever you might have set up. And setting this entire scenario up on Windows would be impossible. What's your experience of routing audio signals, video recording signals, MIDI signals. What kind of performance um, did you have? What kind of use cases did you have in that regard? What's your opinion of, you know, the GUI interfaces in terms of handling audio signals? Like Helvum, QPV Graph, QCheck CTL, if you might. Put it down in the description. I really want to know. Keep working, because there's still much to Zuru and Go Read Berserk.